way to truth and a lie from live by faith and not by sight for you We're living all for you I put me higher Church, welcome to Sunday worship. Hey, before we start our worship, let's play Bible I Spy. I'll give you guys an object or a hint of a Bible story. All you gotta do is to guess what the Bible story is. Now, for example, I'll say, mm, I spy with my own little eye a big boat and a bunch of animals. Can you guys guess which Bible story I'm thinking of? Yes! Noah's Ark! So, let's play. I spy with my own little eye a stone, sling, and a giant. Do you guys have the answer? Do you know what it is? Yes! David and Goliath's story. Let's play another one. I spy with my own little eye a sycamore tree, a short man, and a tax collector. Any idea what the answer is? Yes, a story of Zacchaeus. Okay, here's the last one, and it's a good one. It's a little challenging. Are you guys ready? Okay, I spy with my own little eye Milk and honey, grapes, and grasshoppers. Any idea on what the story that I'm talking about? Anyone? Do you guys need more clue? All right, here we go. Mm, spies, Joshua and Caleb. Hmm, still struggling? Well, here's the answer. After God rescued his people from slavery in Egypt, he led them across the Red Sea and performed miracles along the way to Canaan, the land he had promised them. God told Moses to choose 12 spies to go into Canaan to find out about the people, the cities, and the land. The spies explored the land and found it was as good as God had promised. But they also saw some things that made them afraid. After 40 days, the spies returned. They described what they saw. The land flows with milk and honey. There are pomegranates and figs. And the grapes are so big, two of us had to carry them between us on a pole. Great, let's go. We can't go. There are giants there so big, we look like grasshoppers next to them. And the city's walls are so high, we don't stand a chance. By the time the 10 spies finished talking, the giants seemed bigger and the walls seemed taller. The spies and the people were afraid. But two of the spies, Joshua and Caleb remembered God was with them and he could do anything. God is stronger than any giant. He'll help us take the promised land. But it was too late. The people were afraid and forgot God was for them. Did God bring us here just to let us be killed? Let's go back to Egypt. But the land is good like God promised it would be. Don't turn away now. That's right. With God's help, we can't lose. Don't be afraid of giants. But the Israelites didn't believe Joshua and Caleb. 
In fact, they wanted to kill them. They had forgotten the miracles God had done for them when he rescued them from Egypt. So Moses begged for God to forgive the people. God heard Moses and forgave the Israelites. But they wandered in the desert for 40 years, one year for every day the spies had been gone. Are we there yet? Nope, still got 39 years left. Out of all the Israelites, only two men lived to see God's promised land, Joshua and Caleb, the spies who stood up and had great faith in God, even when they were standing alone. God promised to bring the Israelites people to the promised land. When the Israelites got closer to the land, God instructed Moses to send spies to check out this place. Oh man, the land was amazing. It was filled with milk and honey. It was marvelous, just as God promised them. They even brought a bunch of grapes to show how good the land was. But there was a one small itty bitty. Well, no, there was a huge problem. Numbers chapter 13, verse 27 through 33, it talks about how the spies describe the land. And they said, We went into the land which you sent us, and it does flow with milk and honey. Look, we even brought the grapes. But people who live there, they're so powerful and so big. We look like a little grasshopper compared to them. We got no chance, man. No way. People were afraid to take the land. But Caleb, one of the spies, stood up and he said that they should take the land. He was confident that God will help them conquer the land. But other people, they disagreed. They even wanted to appoint a new leader to bring them back to Egypt. Now, what? Caleb and Joshua tore their clothes and told the Israelites to not be afraid because God is with them. Church, Caleb and Joshua trusted in God's amazing power. Even though they had a huge problem before them, they trusted in God and they were brave and faithful. Since Caleb and Joshua had followed God completely, God decided to let them enter into the promised land. God said that the Israelites who did not trust God would face consequence for their sin. And that was um, that they would wander in the wilderness for 40 years and they would not enter into the promised land. All of the spies, spies who went to go see the land, they all died except for Joshua and Caleb. And only they were able to enter into the promised land. Church, God's plan and his ways are always perfect. So let's trust in God and allow him to lead our lives. Amen? Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your amazing love. We thank you that you are perfect. We thank you that your plans are always right. Help us to fully trust in your ways and follow you and allow you, Jesus, to be the leader of our lives. Give us faith so that we can be faithful to you. We thank you for all the amazing things that you are doing in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, that's it, church, and I'll see you guys next time. But before I let you guys go, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. And I'll see you guys 
next time. Bye!